Is that it? Yep. Go. Table, go. Go sit down. Hey guys, it's Alice and I'm with my dad and today we are doing a review of something. It's my toy, I want to play with my toy. Shut up, we're doing a review. Fine. Alright, fine. I told you, you shouldn't do it. Get on with it. Anyway, hello guys, it's Alice and I'm with my dad. This is take number two. Don't steal the package again. I won't. Never repeat myself, except when I do. Come on, I want to play with it! We have a parcel. And I'm sure you're wondering, whatever could this parcel be? It's upside down is what it is. You can play with the box. What? You can play with the box. Thank you. The Fugitive Doctor. Doc oh. <laughs> the Fugitive Doctor and TARDIS. So it's the new set from Character Options. Yep. Uh, Joe Martin as a Fugitive Doctor. I was going to say that. Oh, okay. Go on then. You give a quick history of it. It is Joe Martin as the Fugitive Doctor from The Fugitive of the Jadoon. Ooh. Ooh. And I, I did my homework on this because I won't deny I'm a little, I'm a little rusty. But I did. Homework on it and wrote notes. Well, there's a novelty. Talk about the box. This is a very lovely box shape. It is um, it is an angle that I've never seen a box at before. As you can see, it goes. I can't remember what the shape. No, wrong side. I can't remember what the shape is called. Triangle. No, a triangle has three sides. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. This is five. So, uh, yes, it's got that nice little angle. It's got windows on three sides. And information and, on the back. And some blurb on the back. And all sorts of things. Let's have a look inside. Hang on. Let's uh, just... Could you take two of my things off? Played by Joe Martin and the Fugitive of the Two. Oh, you're taking this seriously, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, I'll take my job as a target short, sir. Very, very, uh, very, very professional. Excellent. As you can see by the um, the Indiana Jones whip. Uh -huh. uh, mm. I think the best way to do this. Rip open the box. Just sonic it. Okay, so what have we got? Eat it! We have the TARDIS, which has got a not a very flat roof. It's got a bit of an angle to it, hasn't it? Some of the others in the same, like yeah. the first and second Doctor TARDISes didn't have that. And it's got, got a, second bo a really big boxy light. Yeah, is that... Ah, so I thought that was a cube, but it's not, is it? You can actually... They're meant to be the struts. It's an X. Yeah. I'm not and sure how I feel about have, that. Uh, we have the Fugitive Doctor herself, Jo. Carrying a, what's that, a division blaster. Yep. And you would have noticed that she has that, actually. Not a Sonic. It's because she has no idea what a Sonic is. <laughs> is that in your notes? Yes. Yeah, that's problematic, isn't it? Because... Yeah. So, what's what's the story of the Fugitive Doctor? What's the... Well, the story is actually pretty unclear. Hmm. Um, we have no idea where she takes place as her and also the 13th Doctor have no recollection of each other. So she doesn't remember anything that happened with Jodie. Jodie doesn't remember anything that happened with her. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, um, we all know in one of the episodes, I can't remember which one it is, Jodie does end up getting her memories wiped. Mm. So that could have been part of it. Yeah. That could have been what part of the reason why she didn't remember, but also because it was, I believe, the second Doctor who had his memory wiped. So that could have obviously happened further down the line. It could have happened with like Matt Smith, David Tennant. Um, it could happen with Shooter Gatwa. 
Well, they get their memories or the roof yeah. turns up. Well, the, the, the theory is that because she doesn't, because the TARDIS is like an older version, it must be an older Doctor. Yeah. She doesn't recognise the Sonics, and the second Doctor had the Sonics, so that suggests that she came before the second Doctor. <laughs> but there's no gap between the first Doctor and the second Doctor, so potentially she's before the first Doctor. But then that doesn't make sense because the TARDIS shouldn't be a police box prior to the first Doctor. Because yeah. Susan remembers it being different things, his granddaughter. Um, and then there's things like it's got blue... Um, what you call it, the dividers on the windows, and they were white when the first Doctor had it, so this is clearly more like a second Doctor TARDIS. So it does make sense to me... And it has no inside. That it's... I think it makes sense that it's between the second Doctor and the third Doctor. Yeah. And the time was forced them to regenerate. Yep. They took the TARDIS, took it and gave us missions, and then wiped her memory afterwards, but possibly wiped it before, so that's why she doesn't know what a sonic screwdriver is, yeah. and then wiped it again at the end. Yeah. Makes how, more sense many, to me. How many times have they wiped the Doctor's memory? We don't know. I mean, the other option is that um, the police box, the size was stuck as a police box before the first Doctor, and Susan wasn't his granddaughter and was just lying and was there to, like, look after him, like like Lee was looking after her in Future Difficulty Doom. Yeah. Maybe. Who then, knows? No one really knows. It's all a bit of a mess. Get the other box out. Get the other box out. Get that box part, box part. Of this it. box part. Why you is can that? See, there's a little cut out background that um, relatively looks similar to um, the first TARDIS. Oh uh, yeah, so this is an insert that can fit inside the police box. Let's uh, let's see if we can do that. All my notes have been checked off. <laughs> Is that how you've been there? Yeah. That's good. I did research. He literally came into my room and said, Can you do some research, please? I was like, But I want to play video games with my friends. Which is weird, because when I come into your room and say, Can you do some homework, please? Or can you tidy your room? And you always just say no. Oh, no, you don't. You never say no. Let's be fair. I just say like, in a minute. And then you say yes, and then don't do it. Yeah. Careful, careful, careful. Something you never are. Hmm. So this is, I, I like this. I like that they've included this because it's something I've done with all the other Tardi that we have. Tardi! Is they've always put uh, the right interior into it. So there you go. You've got this little cardboard exterior and then you fold the sides over. And then... I've actually put one inside the side of the side this before. Yeah, it goes in. It's always paper. Yeah, it's a little bit fiddly. Oh. Maybe it goes in that door first. Yeah, because I've always put paper ones in, it's a lot easier. Ah, there we go. Yeah. And we find out it's upside down. <laughs> it's not. There we are. So when you open the doors, you give the illusion of it being bigger on the inside. Nah, it's a fake battery compartment. So there's no electronics. There's no lights or sound. That's bull! Mm. Um, yeah, it's quite an expensive toy for no power. But the annoying thing is it does still have the speaker grill and the battery compartment. And the little battery. Because obviously they're not going to remould the entire thing. Because oh, I'm I lazy. Like that. I like it. What do you think? It still traps my finger and hurts. I'm really happy to have her. I think that's cool. There is actually something else that we should show them. Why? What's that? The thing that we got from Nikki because it's funny. Oh, that was from Karen, not from Nikki. Nikki brought it down. Oh yeah, from Go Karen. Go on then, quickly, and then we'll get back on with this. <laughs> a dark human hybrid. There you go. Ugly. It's really heavy. It is. Right, so the important thing now is, the question is... Where are we going to put it? Where does it go on the shelf? Let's go and have a look. Yep. Oh, I forgot. 
God, it's just still in bed mode. Oh well. Oh, that's comfortable. Come on. <laughs> Welcome, people, to the wall of Tardises. Tardai. Tardai. <laughs> I don't know. Tardises. Who knows? And anyway. Playmobil. So we've got classic ones over here. We've got mm, the best. The new ones over there. The best. So where does it go? What do we do? Do we like move them all down and put it there, or do we put it between the second and third? What do you think? I mean, we could move. We could essentially move them all down yeah, because we, we don't really need those pads here. They have got space. Yep. Do you know what I think? What I think I'm going to do. What. I'm going to make an extra shelf that comes out and have it here. But what about Iron Man? Well, Iron Man goes here. Oh yeah. And then she'll stand there and then it'll be like between, because I think it goes between the second and third Doctor. Yeah. So I'm going to build an extra little shelf and put it there on the same level. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Do you want to finish the, the video here? Yeah. Hello guys. Um, so that's it for Hello. today. Yes. Hi. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Thanks for watching our review. Hope you get this. It's really cool to display, not for playing. Displaying, as you can see, by um all this and all that that's there. I'm gonna play with it. Yeah, he is. All right. I'm Alice. This is my dad. You will also make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications so you never miss a video. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.